The Five Bond Degrees of Lemuria As we saw in the initiation rituals for advanced citizenship in Atlantis, there were four elemental lodges, each symbolized by a different colored platonic solid. The meanings of these solids and their colors are explained in the Bund degrees of Lemuria. There are various arrangements these attributes may be displayed in. Thus, a dutiful student must compare the system given here to others in use throughout human history. The assignment of the solids per element, for example, differs from the order given by Plato. To perform initiations in an elemental lodge, one must have no less than 15 members present, not including the candidate. There are five lodge masters and each has two alternates, one of each lower degree of the three classes. The reason for this is to ensure the continuity of government for the Atlantean Senate. During each Senate session, the four elemental lodges are combined into one, with the floor of the Senate between them. Their doors are closed and guarded by the alternates, while the masters serve as members of the Senate within. Thus, in the Senate, each lodge has five senators, the same with masters of each lodge, and each fulfills their own role and function. That is why there are five different, but equal, parties in the Lemurian Bund. The five Bund degrees are usually arranged chronologically and comprised of ideologies that occur in peaks and troughs of 400-year intervals over a 2,000-year solar aeon. Currently, the Bund degrees of the Pythagorean Order of Death reflect the existing schools of the Western mystery tradition at the time of its writing, circa 2000 to 2012 AD. These proceed in the order the Essene Zealots, the Knights of Zion, the Rosicrucians, the Illuminated Dawn, and the Oto. The Zealots prospered 2,000 years ago and have almost died out since. On the opposite end of the pendulum now, 2,000 years later, the OTO dominates the ethics of the globe. Just as each of these played a unique role in history, so too do each group's members play a specific role relative to the closed lodge and the open senate. The first of these are the senators of the Earth Lodge, who stand for the Essenes in Lodge. The Earth Lodge hosts the Contributor's Club Ritual, and the Senator holds a scale, symbolizing unconditional fairness. The role of the Senator is as a Master of Earth, and his alternates guard inside the Open Senate. The second of these are the members of the Fire Lodge, who represent the Knights of Zion, or the chivalric grades in modern craft. The Fire Lodge hosts the final ritual, that of God and Imhotep, and the Senator holds a shepherd's crook, symbolizing gentle guidance. The role of the Senators of the Fire Lodge is known only to those who are members of it within the regular Lodge, that is, one Master out of the five, and no less than two alternates per Master. The third group of Senators stands for the Water Lodge, signifying the Rosicrucians, equivalent to the philosophical grades of modern craft. The Water Lodge hosts the first ritual of Egyptian masonry, teaching the moral of good and evil. The Senator holds a flower representing universal peace, and their role as alternates is to guard the doors of the vault. The fourth group are the final to host an initiation ritual inside one of the lodges. They are the Senator Masters of the Air Lodge, and they host the ritual of Tahotep's Double Cross. The Senators hold aloft a lantern, standing for the eternal light that shines despite all darkness. These are the Masters of Air, the Illuminators of the Dawn. Finally, the fifth party stand for the Spirit Element, signified as the public entrance to the Senate. They sit on the chairs in the Senate, one step up from the other four senators, 
who sit on the benches of the third and lowest step. The chair senators hold a gavel to represent their authority's rights and stand for no lodge nor element but represent the latest cult of any to be added into the bond, in the present this being the OTO. The role of the OTO alternates is to guard the porch of each lodge. Now, looking again at the garb of the senators, we can see how and why their colors and appearances are the way they are, and better understand their roles in the five bund parties operant inside the Lemurian religious bank. Likewise, the garbs of the lodge masters may be recognized. The Essene zealot stands to the left, dressed as a colonial, followed by the Knight of Zion, wearing two inverse swastikas. In the midst of them stands the Rosicrucian, garbed as a monk, and to their left is the Golden Illuminatus, dressed as a Buddhist monk. On the far right stands the Oteo Chair, master of no lodge, dressed as the Grim Reaper.